this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over some basic file management. I've got two web pages set up here, and they're both relatively simple using elements that we've seen me use in recent videos. I did throw in a little bit of internal styling, um, simply to differentiate these a little bit better visually. So I've got a red page that simply has a uh, heading one with a red background header, and I've also got a blue page with a heading one and a blue background header. So if you saw these on my browser, there we go, there's my blue page and there's my red page. Red page. But I don't want to focus on styling, instead I want to focus on how my files are organized. If I go to my web pages files folder, you'll see that I have both my red page and my blue page saved in here, along with a couple pages I've made recently. So when you're making web pages for your files, or for your website, you'll generally organize them in a similar fashion. All of your pages can be grouped together within one folder. Now, as you make more and more files, you might want to start organizing them into subfolders. This really comes into play, especially when you start using uh, files other than HTML files, for instance, images. So let's give this a try. Let me jump out over to the web, and I've got a Flickr page open with a photograph. And I'm going to take this photo, and I'm going to save it to my folder. So I'll go ahead and right click. I'm going to do a Save Image As. I'll save to my desktop, to my web pages files. And because I'm saving an image here, you can't see my other files, my HTML, but I don't want to save it in with my HTML. I'm going to save it into a subfolder. So I'm going to create a new folder, and I'll call this folder images. Just like my file names, I want my folders that are going to be used for the web to have all lowercase and no spaces. So now I've got this images folder, and I don't like the file name that I'm getting as a default here. So I will change this out to Homer, Alaska. Um, that's where the photo is from. It's from uh, the harbor at Homer, Alaska. And I'll go ahead and click Save. So now this picture is saved, and if I go back over to my file manager here, I can see I've got my HTML files, I have an images subfolder, and within that is my Homer, Alaska image. All right, so now I want to reference this image on one or both pages. So let's head back over to my editor, and I am on my, I'll go to my red page here, and I'm going to put an image on here. And I think I'll use the generic uh, figure element to hold my image. And for this, I'm going to use an image tag. And I'll do more, I'll give you more information on the image tag and attributes. Right now, I just want to talk to you about the file management and the path. So I'm going to do an image source. Now, I'm going to do it wrong first. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in. Um, homeralaska.jpg and all of your image tags should also have an alt attribute or alternate text and I'll go ahead and put in uh, harbor at Homer Alaska there we go so that's a basic image tag and this is what you would use to insert an image on a web page let me go ahead and save this jump back over to my browser go to my red page and reload and you'll notice I'm getting a broken image because I'm not referring to the image properly via its path. So since my image is stored in a subfolder, remember, my image is stored in the images folder. That means I have to reference the images folder in my path, images slash homeralaska.jpg. Once I save this, head back to my browser and refresh, the image is going to show up as I want it to. One of the most common mistakes for a new web developer is getting confused about their folder paths and file management and it can keep things from working. So it's important that you store images used for your web page within your main web page folder. Now they can be in subfolders, that's perfectly fine. Let me show you this. Now if my image was in, let's see even more detail. Let me go to my images folder and I'm going to create a new subfolder in here. New folder, this will be called the uh, photos. And within my photos folder, I'm going to create another folder here. And this will be called Alaska. 
Now I'm going to head up a bit. I'm going to take this Homer Alaska and I'm going to cut it into my photos, into my Alaska, and paste. Okay, so the Homer Alaska photo is now in my images folder, in my photos folder, in my Alaska folder. So making that file management change, if I refresh my browser, image is broken again. So I'd have to correct this. Images slash photos slash Alaska slash, because that's the folder path for this particular image. Control S to save. Head back over to the browser and refresh. There we go. So hopefully what this is going to illustrate is that you want to have a good folder and file management system in place before you really start doing a lot of work on your web page. Because if you change your files, if you move them around, if you make new subfolders halfway through the project, it would require that you go through and redo all of those references, all of those paths to the images that you want to refer to. So get organized first. Come up with a system for keeping all of your web pages together. And then any images that you use, put those in a subfolder called images or something similar and stick with that system.